I hate my best friend. <laughs> He's stupid. I don't, I don't like him. You ever been friends with somebody that you don't want to be friends with anymore, but they're just grandfathered in? You know what I mean? Like, you want to fire him, but he's got tenure? And you're like, oh, man. So I can't get rid of him. He knew me back when I had braces and wore Jinko jeans. He knows too much. <laughs> he knew me when I purchased an Aaron Carter CD. He's, he's, I can't, can't stop being his friend now. He keeps my secrets. We get into a lot of dumb arguments. Arguments that don't matter, things that shouldn't happen, right? One of the dumbest arguments we ever got into was we were watching a basketball game and in the third quarter, LeBron James had missed a dunk. He looked over at me and he goes, ha, LeBron James sucks. <laughs> I don't know how much you all know about LeBron James. But well, LeBron James got drafted out of high school at 17 years old. He was the number one overall pick in the NBA draft. He signed a $95 million contract with Nike. Three-time NBA champion, four-time league MVP, youngest player to score 35,000 points ever. My friend Daryl has failed his driver's test four times. Four whole times. Daryl sucks, okay? Yeah. Yep. I didn't even know you got to take the test four times. I thought after you failed the second time, they were like, hey, you know what? Here's a $50 Uber credit. You don't get to drive anymore. <laughs> You're a danger to society. <laughs> He's a dummy. He asks, me, he asks me questions all the time that make me reevaluate my friendship with him. Has that ever happened to you where you're like, how bad do I need you in my life? <laughs> or you just gotta weigh the pros and cons? This is, dude, this is what he asked me most recently. He goes, Cam, we're friends, right? I was like, of course we're friends. He goes, would you take a bullet for me? I was like, from a gun? Are, you, first of, are there bullets I'm unaware of? First of all, you're overly confident in my ability to take a bullet. I'm built like drywall. I'm, whoever's behind me is still gonna die. I'm not taking anything. I'm like shooting a ghost. Do you know how mad I'd be if I tried to be a good person and take a bullet for somebody and be like, I'm a hero, and they still died? I'd be like, I'm a good person. Did you still die? I could have just not got shot. Could have just grieved you. I don't even got health insurance like that. This is stupid. Now I'm in debt and my pancreas is gone. This is dumb. I don't know where my pancreas is at, but that's what it got me. He got mad that that was my answer. He was mad. He was like, that's messed up, bro. Cause I take 99 bullets for you. I'm like 99? What kind of shady things do you think I'm into? <laughs> to where somebody's trying to murder me with that level of machinery, okay? And why is it taking 99 bullets to do it? Who's trying to kill me? A stormtrooper, Rambo, Helen Keller? Why can't you hit me? <laughs> Did I stand sideways? What happened? <laughs> it's frustrating. 99 bullets. They don't even sell 99 bullets. It comes in like a pack of 100. Are you saying you wouldn't take that extra bullet for me? You're a bad friend. <laughs> I say all that to tell you this. Just know, if it says hero anywhere in my obituary, that was unintentional. <laughs> Just know. Matter of fact, I put you in front of me. I don't know how I shot around you. That guy was amazing. <laughs> I don't see wanted when I curved a bullet. I don't know, it's just funny to me to think somebody's like, I got you anyways. And you're like, oh man, I messed with the wrong guy. <laughs>